Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the Everton News Daily. John Texter is believed to be on Merseyside thrashing out a deal with Farhad Mashiri. It's believed that he has visited the Royal Liver Building offices of Everton and also has been to the new stadium as well. They are unconfirmed reports, but they are uh, they are what's uh, going round uh, with the potential of a deal being somewhat agreed by the end of the week. Now, it is a difficult one because John Texter, of course, still has shares in Crystal Palace. Um, and obviously, that is a big issue because you cannot own or part own two football clubs in the Premier League at the same time. So he has always said he's trying to sell those shares and he's got people who, who would like to buy those shares. But at this stage, we do not know that side of things and we don't know the times time scale uh for that either so it is just uh, uh it is just about thrashing out a deal and seeing where they are it was reported last week by david ornstein that everton had entered into an exclusivity period with john texter um but that's not been confirmed by the football club it was only put out there by david ornstein who's normally quite solid uh in the athletic but that hasn't been confirmed by anyone so we're not don't know whether these these talks will lead into an exclusivity period. Um, and obviously that would be the third time that has happened. Um, and obviously the freaking group are the last people to have the exclusivity period. Um, obviously, Farad Mishiri would want to know that the money is there and the money is in place. And obviously the situation with Crystal Palace as well, maybe before he gives that exclusivity period, because if there's other people looking at Everton, then why would he enter into that period when no one else can come really looking at the club? Um, so we'll have to wait and see. Hopefully we'll have more news. But Everton are in desperate need to get on with this. Um because obviously if you know we only have to look at the transfer market at the at the moment. Other clubs are buying. Uh, Everton are not really doing anything, are they? And it's it it really is a case of Everton having to wait till players go out the door before we can buy anyone while our competitors are buying and it's a real issue at the moment, so let's hope something happens soon and we get some good news soon. Um, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, on the pitch, a Everton under-21 side played Tramia last night in the EFL Trophy. Uh, the team did include Beto, Jal Virginia and Jesper Lindstrom. Um, who all played 90 minutes. Beto scored a couple of goals, nearly got a hat-trick, but Martin Sheriff took it off the... Uh, just took it off him by knocking it in over the line in the last minute. Everton won nil behind and come behind, come from behind to win three one. Good run out for Beto uh, and Lindstrom. Ultimately, it was just a workout for both of them. It's good that they were both included. I think uh, Beto played in this tournament last year when he when he just signed as well. Um, so it was good for both of them that they got some minutes under the belt and and it was a good run out and. Um, it, it for those players it's just really extended pre-season isn't it but good to see those two get those minutes and nice to see Beto score a couple of decent goals as well um, which he should be doing really at that level because he is a player who came in for a big price tag um, and you know we, we, we need to start seeing something from him in the first team a little bit more consistently so uh, good win for the young blue side as I said I, I, I aided by some first-team players. Uh, Mason Holgate has been linked with a move to Ajax today. Um, I mean, there's a fair chance Mason Holgate might start the game on Saturday against Spurs, but uh, he's been linked with a move to Ajax, which, um, I mean, if it was a fee, it would be fantastic for Everton. Um, we're a bit short at right back at the moment, but I'm sure once once the next couple of Premier League games go and we get into the international window, we'll probably get... Seamus Coleman and Nathan Patterson back and then obviously have um, Ashley Young back from suspension. So it can quickly turn around. So I think that would be a great move for him if that was uh, to possibly happen. Uh, Asmir Begovic is edging closer to his move back to Everton. He is on a free transfer after leaving QPR. He's set to have his medical, as I said. And that would allow young goalkeepers Billy Crellin and Halle Tyler to go on loan and continue their uh, football educations. Um, yeah, and and as I said about Jal Virginia, he played last night, but could they offer for him, tempt Everton to let him go as well at his age with the contract he's got left? Who knows? But 
Um, Begovic would be a solid bit of experience coming through the door in the goalkeeping department. So uh, that one should, should be done by the end of the week. I know it's not a very exciting one. And Everton, obviously, Everton fans are desperate for new signers to come into the door. But that's a that's just a solid sign and that that you know that Everton think they need in there now so we'll wait for that one to be done so there you go you've got all the news obviously Sean Dyche will be doing his press conference tomorrow ahead of the trip to Tottenham on Saturday so we'll have all the details from that tomorrow make sure to give this video a like subscribe if you haven't already and if you want more great videos daily live exclusives videos or any adverts podcasts without any adverts come over to Toffee TV Premier the link is in the description it's QR codes come on the screen now see you later